Mike Bowers. I'm Director of Photography for the Global Mail. I'm talking pictures this morning with Friday host for Radio National's Drive program, Julian Morrow. Welcome, mate. Oh, it's a great pleasure to be here, Mike. Mate, just when you thought it couldn't get any weirder, out comes Craig Thompson and takes centre stage. It was an interesting start to the week. But yeah, um, ups and downs, uh, not very convincing, I'd say. And I bet you were hoping he wasn't going to call your name out as one of the media singled out as being that, good. That was the you single know? best yeah. moment where he said, some journalists are OK, and yeah. there are a lot of people who would have been happy not to be on that list. <laughs> uh, he was very emotional at times, Julian, and when he started to speak about his family uh, broke down. I, I said uh, a couple of weeks back that I almost felt sorry for him, but I, 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 I'm taking it back now because it was a weird performance, I thought, all round. Well, yeah, I mean, it was captivating in Parliament for, for for a while and it's no surprise that this controversy has taken a personal toll. Obviously that doesn't change the questions at hand. In David Rowe in the way that he always does has drawn his colleagues as vultures in the gallery watching seriously though. It's the vision of Dante's hell almost really isn't it? Thompson. Yeah, yeah. Although I, I was wondering whether what he was going for was if you know, Craig Thompson's theory is correct, hell would start freezing over but there's no, no sign of the freezing yet, but a beautiful image, absolutely yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The um, conspiracy theories and uh, little HSU cards down here, I think, being used by uh, by some of the, uh, the, the the members of the the gallery. Of all the credit card offers that I've been sent in the mail over the years, the HSU credit card offer is singularly the best. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Julian, Mr. Zanetti sees the Thompson affair as a large fan and lots of muck flying all over the place. I actually think that's about as close as the Labor government gets to clear air. You know, <laughs> filthy. But uh, at least it's out in the open now. Spraying it around yeah, everywhere. that's right. I hope that's cleared the air. Yeah. Now, look, out of all the people who were watching, it seems Bob Catter couldn't hold his attention for that entire hour. And, and despite the excitement of the occasion, seems to be having a little snooze. The one time that Parliament gets really interesting yeah. and Bob's off for a snooze, although apparently his office said that he was contemplating. He's contemplating. Uh, and apparently doctors recommend that you should contemplate for at least eight hours a night. Bob probably hasn't been getting his eight hours of contemplation. I often find watching Parliament leads me to contemplation oh. for quite some time. Right. Um, the Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, was not in the country for uh, Craig Thompson's speech. She was uh, at another battleground, that of uh, NATO talks in the United States. Short of a spot on the moon, I think she would have been happy to be that far away. Uh, I'm not sure how many bars across America were taking Craig Thompson's statement. Live? No. Um, no, no, a bar somewhere in America. Most Aussies who come in here usually want to watch a live game of Australian Roos football. And uh, there's Julia watching uh, Craig uh, give his... Uh, well, it wasn't really a mea culpa, was it really? There wasn't There any... was more a culpa than a mea. Yeah, yeah, there was not much mea there. <laughs> no. We do seem to have a very special relationship with the, uh, the leader of the free world. Uh, Julia seems to get on with him very well. Either that or it's a perfect example of America looking down on us. I, <laughs> um, He's a very tall man. Yeah, yeah. This one here I thought was particularly hands-on. The relationship is hands-on. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, there, and there's a lot of talk about the, the, the constant hugging that goes on. Um, I can only assume that that's Obama and Gillard talking about their upcoming election campaigns yeah. and consoling each other. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, but I'd prefer to be this guy, I've got yeah. to say. Julian, it's been a great pleasure mulling over the week's activities. Thanks very much for taking the time. It's been a great pleasure too. Oh, yes. Back to you, Barry.